What's up, Boo Sugars? This is Sister Slayash, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome for the very first time. If you're already a member, welcome back. Today, I have a review for you all. I'm not going to try to take much of your time because I am a talker. And so we have the Richard Quinn Collection by MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to go over some of the products that I purchased. And I'll let you know if it's worth your dime and if it's worth your time. So if you want to know about this collection, my opinions, and if it's worth your coin, please stay tuned, Blue Sugar. Don't go nowhere. I purchased um, a total of five products from the Richard Quinn collection. If you don't know who Richard Quinn is, he is a fashion designer, a couture designer known for his mixture of patterns such as polka dots, florals, paisley, bright colors. I mean, attention grabbing stuff. So when I thought about this collection, even with the packaging, it was very on uh, par with Richard Quinn. So what I decided to purchase, I purchased four of the lipsticks and I also purchased the eyeshadow palette. I skipped out on the eyeliners and I also skipped out on the highlighter and the blush and the uh, contour palette. Because of my skin tone, those are kind of tricky. I didn't have it with me as far as being able to go to the store to see the actual tester. So I skipped out on it because I don't know if it's something I can wear or not and then have it shipped to my house, spend my money for it and find out it didn't work for me, they were gonna piss me the hell off. So I did not get that and I didn't get the highlight. Um, I'm kind of over highlighters to be honest with you. I have so many and then I'm not trying to sound full of myself. I get facials. I do a lot of things to my skin to where I don't even have a highlight on and I just glow within. So why the hell am I going to give you $44 for some shit I got naturally? I'm not doing it. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette did retail for $45. Of course, I have it on today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I skipped the eyeliners. Now, the eyeliners are great products. They are 24-hour uh, eyeliners. They are waterproof. They are smudge-proof. That is very much true. However, I decided to skip out on them because I have plenty of eyeliners. And I don't really wear a lot of color eyeliners like that. I have a white eyeliner and a few color eyeliners, but I don't use them that much. I usually use black and more so than black brown. So, um, didn't get the eyeliners. But this is the palette. It has like this nylon fabric that's covering it. And it has this beautiful two-toned um, two um, floral print here. There's one that has like the black background and more neon. And another one with the white and the blue. This is a very, very cute package. Now, the eyeshadow palette consists of eight colors. And all of these, I would describe them as frost eyeshadows. I didn't see anything in here that was a true matte. They were either frost or maybe a few satins. So I'm gonna start with the names. The names are Lemon Fizz, which is this yellow here, Mint Cloud, Monodramatic, Gleam Queen, Blush Goddess, Sultry Sunset, Fairy Fiasco and Dusk Diva. So these are the eight colors that are in here, mainly frost colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. I'm gonna start with Lemon Fizz. And this is Lemon Fizz with one pass. It's very, very, um, kind of, to me, it's more subtle than I expected it to be. It's not as pastel as I had hoped. Then we have this one here, which is the uh, mint. Was it the mint cloud? So swatching that one here. Very pretty, not as pigmented as I had hoped. Then we have monodramatic, which is this pretty blue. Now this one is very pigmented. That's mainly what I have on today. And I did use the clear water paint pot. The 24 hour paint pot is like a sky blue one that was limited edition. That's what I have as an eyeshadow base. And y'all, this made me break out stuff I hadn't used in a while. I can't tell you when the last time I used paint pot. So that's what I use for the base. Then I also have this purple one here called Gleam Queen, which that is very pretty, very soft purple. Then it's followed by Blush Goddess, which I don't get this one. Um, it's not giving pink. It's very, very white, like silvery white. So I don't understand why they call it blush goddess like if you think blush you think a blush tone more like the color of my dress or some range of pink but whatever and this next one here is called sultry queen which is like this taupe color 
Um, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I, I would rock this one all day. When I did this eyeshadow look, that's what I was gonna go towards. I'm like, you know what? Let me try to play in some color. Um, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm afraid of color now. Now this one is um, fairy, is it fairy fiasco. If I would have thought anything, this would have been blush uh, goddess to me, but whatever. And then this final one here is called um, Dusk Diva, which is this smoky black with a little purple reflex. I love the Dusk Diva, really pretty for a nice evening smoky eye. So these are the colors here. They swatch very, very well, considering the fact I am a woman of color. Now, my um, complexion, my, my foundation shade is, and right now I'm an NC44.5. That's what I am right now. Um, I go anywhere from like a 43.5 all the way up to a 46. If I have a real crispy summer, honey, baby 47 or NW43, depending on how much sun I get. So that's my shade range. Tahoe, Cadiz, and Morea, and, and Nars. So I'm just kind of that weird um, yellow, red, greenish. I mean, it's so hard to match my foundation. So that's my shade. And give me one second, because I think I'm burning the fuck out of these shrimp in the air fryer. <laughs> and as I guess right, them shrimp is burnt in the bitch, but I'm going to sauce them up and I'm going to eat them. Hell, I'm going to eat them, okay? Anyway, back to this video. Now, <laughs> I'm going to get to the lipsticks. And all this retail for $45. If I didn't tell y'all that, $45 for the eyeshadow palette. Which to me, it's a little pricey. Now, we have the lipsticks. I got all four of them. These retail for, well, not all four. There were two other ones that were like Lady Danger and Mirror or something like that. They were like regular lipsticks and limited edition packaging. The packaging, the packaging is cute, but I already have those lipsticks. I don't care enough about the packaging to buy a repromote, you know, just for the packaging when I still have a Mirror and Lady Danger. Like, no. Now, um, these are the lipsticks and they retail for $25 each. The packaging on these very cute, it has the blue and white, like the eyeshadow palette. And look at that. That is very, very cute. And of course it has pink at the bottom, which happens to be my favorite color. And the color um, that has his logo here, really cute. And this color is called Coral Haze. This is a matte lipstick shade. And this is very pretty. Um, I have worn this one already. And it's coral. But it's wearable, especially with a brown liner. I love to wear this with cork or chestnut. It tones it down, makes it, it actually can go neutral depending on your skin tone. The deeper the skin tone, the more neutral this is gonna be. So this is a very pretty neutral. Or if you're very fair, fair complected, this could be a really nice neon coral. But that is called Coral Haze and it is a matte finish. Now the next one that I have here, this one is called Rose Daydream. This is what I have on right now. Um, it is a true like pinky rose color. And this is a nude, I mean not nude, but a matte as well. As y'all can see, I done got my fair share of words out of this one already. And it arrived with these little nicks on. I don't know what it is and if it's just me, but every time I order something from MAC online, the lipsticks are always damaged somehow, and I just get so aggravated with that. Um, so I don't know if it's just me, or does that happen to y'all too? Or is it just something going on with your packaging? Or are they slanging the boxes and throwing them bitches out the back of the truck? Like what's really going on in these streets, y'all? And oh, by the way, this is what I have on. I have it on with the KKW New 2 liner today. And this is Rose Daydream. Um, very pretty. It ain't nothing we hadn't seen before. Um, if you, this is very much um, myrrh, um, sore, but a little lighter. If you don't get this one, I promise you the world will not end tomorrow. So, I mean, whatever. Now, the next one I have here is called Mega Magenta. Now, I was very excited about this one. 
Um, I don't know why I was excited about this one, but it just did something to me. It is so pretty. Um, it gives me um, quick sizzle vibes. This is a color that came out with the Shop Matte Cook Matte Collection. This is also a matte finish. It is a very pretty vibrant pink. It gives me quick sizzle slash pink pigeon. Um, it's one of those bright pinks, but it's not candy yum yum. Um, every pink does not have to be candy yum yum. So that one is mega magenta. It's very pretty. I cannot wait to wear that one in the spring. And then we have Vamptastic. Uh, Vamptastic, very, very cute. Um, same packaging, um, kind of reddish, um, kind of like a pinky red. I don't get why the name Vamptastic, because it's not what I would consider vampy. Very pretty pinky red. And again, this one's also a matte finish. I have not worn this one yet, but I cannot wait to do so. I will be pairing her with the Beat Lip Liner. So these are the four lipsticks. They are a matte finish. This one has been on like literally all day. I have not had to touch it up. Um, the MAC formula is not that drying. I'm wondering if MAC may have redone their formula, but I'm not mad at it because it feels really good. Um, so yeah, these are the swatches. I have the collection on now. I skipped the highlighter and I skipped the eyeliners and I skipped the uh, contour and blush. Um, just wasn't really compelled or excited about getting it. But this is what I have, um, the five pieces, the eyeshadow palette and the four lipsticks. Now for my final thoughts. Um, when it comes to the collection as a whole, I love the packaging. I love the concept. I love the idea. Very, very cute, very springy, very different. And it's very on par with the Richard Quinn um, aesthetic. So I will give them an A plus for that because a lot of times in the past, Mac has done a exceptional job with missing the mark when it comes to those collections that are endorsed or inspired by a celebrity or designer. But these are very on par from the packaging all the way down to the color, um, the color shades. Now, when it comes to the eyeshadow palette, I don't feel it's worth the $45, and here's why. Um, there is not a diverse range of textures. Now, when it comes to shades, everyone loves a cute pastel palette. I love the way it looks on my skin, and this will work for deeper skin tones. So that, to Mac, I say good job. It's very hard to find a pastel palette that's black girl or color girl friendly. So I am excited about that. However, for $45, I would have liked to see some different textures mixed in there, even if it's just one brown matte or some type of matte that will work for a transition color to blend the frost into. That's my biggest complaint. Um, and for me, I am more neutral. I kind of run from a lot of color now at one point in time in my life. You can put me in anything but color. Now, you can't put me in color. I'm a neutral girl through and through, so I probably will not get the true value out of this palette because I am not a color girl like that. Um, I can do the looks, but this will be a palette I will more than likely use a lot on my clients. So, um, I don't think that the palette is worth $45. You can get a Morphe palette, you can get a ColourPop palette, or whoever, you can get a palette for that same price range and get way more colors and a larger variety of textures. Now, when it comes to the lipsticks, are the lipsticks worth, worth your money? The only lipstick I would say that's truly worth the money, and this is just my opinion, is going to be this Coral Haze. I like Coral, um, especially this particular variation, because I will definitely get a lot of wear out of these two, the Coral and the Rose Daydream, because these are more neutral. So yes, for those two. Yes, in a sense, I will wear them. No, in a sense, I have a lot of colors like them already. But $25, um, I, I, I still struggle with a $25 lipstick. I, I, I struggle with that. Um, considering the fact when I first started wearing MAC, MAC lipsticks were probably like $14, $13, $14. Dollars. 
and now they're $25. They're pretty soon gonna be double what they were and it wasn't that long ago. Thanks a lot, inflation with your stinking ass. But, <laughs> Yes, that's kind of all I have for this collection. Um, let me know in the comments if you pick anything up from this collection, are you excited about it? Um, is it giving you old Mac vibes or are you just gonna skip it all together? Please do share and if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and join the family. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, Boo Sugars.